We need rain. Look at my little pond. Empty. My bloody water lilies are not even in the water. I hope it survives. And look at the gazillion little tadpoles, huh? But we have rain forecast. I'll give you a close-up of these little tadpoles. Oh, whose footprints are those? And all these wasps, I made them homeless with my excavator the other day, dug it up. And now they're working hard to try and build their stocks back up. You check out my sunflowers. They're about ready to harvest. Taller than me, here. And look, just next to them. Much shorter than me. It's because I emptied my composting toilet just there. So once I pull these, I'm going to empty my composting toilet just there. And I'll have a good lot of um, sunflowers for next year. Next year being year zero of the total fall down of the bloody system, I hope. While I'm in a talkative little bloody mood, let's go look at some other stuff, huh? We'll go look at my bridge. I've been working on that again. On the way to the bridge. Let's check this out. I'm building a new dam. But, struck that massive bloody rock. I've been digging around it. I don't think I'll get it out. Because I've struck another big one just in front of it. It'll be tough. I'll have to dig all this out. And then try to pull it from different angles. Maybe I'll get it out. And then if I get it out, how big is it? If it's more than four ton, or four and a half ton can't move it. So there are the dilemmas. All right, let's get to that bridge. Here's a nice view of the bridge from my weir. Look how low the water is. You can even see the Roman ruins. There's my tree house. Anyway, getting close. I'm whispering like Joe Biden. So there's this little bridge. I'm going to pull that out soon because I want to dig some mud from underneath it. But I've extended my little um, wall or whatever, backfill bit. You can see a plant of grass around there. And I'm just going to continue this along. I don't know how far. And then um, plant some more grass on it. And I've also been picking up chestnuts at one of the places I take Charlie for a walk. And I planted a few along here, and I plant some more along there. So we see the water level is pretty low. It's not even going through the bridge. Well, it goes through the rocks underneath. I piled 10 ton. A mate of mine, Kel, who's a truck driver, we got 10 ton and poured it in, then put the pipes in. You can hardly see the pipes anymore. I'm standing in my fireplace in the creek and there you can see the pipes and the water flows underneath and then there was 10 tonne of chunky gravel underneath the pipes and then I've built all this stuff around it and I've had the water flowing through the pipes fairly liberally early in the summer I built this in the autumn it took eight days I've got friends who believe in that Tartaria bloody conspiracy. And they'll look at a bridge like this and they'll say, Oh, that would have taken 200 years to build. Must have been here before the white man. A society of Tartarians. Idiots. Don't believe how people can fall for the Tartarian conspiracy. Or every other conspiracy, except for the mud flood. Tartaria and mud flood are the dumb ones. The rest are all true, I think. Oh, probably the alien ones are not. But the conspiracy theory that the safe and effective is being used to euthanize one third of the world's population is true. You can see that every day when you go into the city and watch the ambulances, the fleets of them. The ambulances stop around midday because then they're all ramped at the hospital because the hospital is overflowing with um, the safe and effective victims as well. Deary me. My brother, my sister, my nephews, they've all taken it. Well, you 
You can't untake it, that's for sure. So as they all drop with all the other millions of fools, well then it'll be me and Charlie and the chickens and a big potato patch and I'll catch some fish. In the evening when I come down here, there's a platypus and he just swims around in there, pops his little head up and looks at me and I look at him just at dusk. I should film it one day. I don't often carry my bloody little phone around. Goes on flight mode as soon as I come over the bridge. Try to call me, nah, not bloody happening. I am isolating myself from the crazy madness. All right, so this is my Tartarian dreaming. Look, just to underline it all, Tartaria is the Russian name for Asia. And when people see these old maps that have a big area called Tartaria, they say, oh, that must be a civilization hidden from us. They tell me that if you wear a top hat, it gives you magical powers. So I got myself a small top hat. And, um, yeah, I didn't feel any magical difference. All right, signing out.